Andy Mogul. Hey Andy Moglers, Griffin here. It's the first Wednesday in May, which means today on the Awesome Directors Project, I have two exciting things for you. One, Awesome Director Dave Seeger has just completed his new music video for the band Flint Eastwood, featuring circus-themed stunts and reverse slow motion effects. Not only does it look awesome, but the music track is really good too. Before we watch that, I want to introduce you to our new awesome director for the month of May. He's from Wilmington, North Carolina, and his name is Oliver Mellon. I never know where I'll find the next awesome director, but I enjoy checking out projects on Kickstarter, and that's where I found Freaker USA. It's not a film, but a product. A knit koozie for insulating any size bottle, and Oliver Mellon is responsible for the weird, funny marketing video that helped them raise over $60,000. He's made lots of creative videos for Freaker, and he has a unique voice and style, so I knew he'd make a great, awesome director. And he's here to talk to us right now. <laughs> so hey, Oliver, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing excellent. Oh, yeah, good to see you, Griffin. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've actually seen each other face to face. You look a lot like your, your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the video that was part of the Kickstarter project for Freaker USA. Yeah, there's a Freaker. Probably the best video I'd ever seen on Kickstarter. And this was your video, right? Yeah. Early in 2011, um, uh, three friends and I started this company, Freaker USA. How do we convey this message that a Kickstarter video needs, but to do it in a uh, fun and like hip and cool and kind of in your face, um, which is a lot, a lot of like my style of, of videography and stuff. It was pretty successful. It was a successful Kickstarter project. More than your goal. You raised uh, about $63,000. Yeah, definitely learned a lot about Kickstarter. The audience and what the audience bites on and how to make them feel connected with the project or the product. And I definitely would love to use it for funding films or TV show pilots and stuff. Um, got a few ideas in the works. It's really weird. It's, it's all over the place. It's wacky, but it's also just a beautiful nicely shot video. So what are you looking for when you make videos? Extracting energy from the talent is is something that I, I do pretty well. And I have this like conflict between my shooting self and my editing self. And my editing self always wants to kick my shooting self's ass for not like getting super super great shots or like getting all the coverage that I that I would want. I love editing. It's like it's like a puzzle. So it's just like alright which clips fit there and which ones feel good. Yeah, I think I've always been more of an editor self and I'm trying to improve the, the shooter self part of me. You, you seem to have a pretty good eye for design and, and graphics. And where, where did you get that from? I worked for a, a video special effects plugin developer called DigiFX um, for a year or so. Just like worked every day in After Effects, so became pretty familiar with that program and how it works. And then realized, okay, this is how I could do motion graphics and sort of incorporate them into the videos. And by doing that, realized that it sort of brought the, my videos from like a mediocre, kind of just a regular video, just and adding the motion graphics kind of brought the production level up. You also went to film school, right? I went to you went film school at UNCW in Wilmington, North Carolina, by the beach. What are some of the most important things you think you took out of film school and maybe your experience at your last job? Kind of, kind of looking at any sort of like pro athlete and seeing how much they practice every day, how much they train, how much they go to the gym and weight lift or whatever. Every day, you know, you should be doing something to sort of further your skills or advance your skills. Do you want to tell us about the uh, about the project you have in mind? The project I am going to be working on next month, the month of May, this month. Previously recorded <laughs> interview. <laughs> A sort of sci-fi noir drama short film. Um, that I've been writing for the past couple months. I'm hoping that it'll be about around 12 minutes long. Um, this is kind of one of my, one of the first sort of longer short films that I've done. One of the things I'm excited about is just your, your very creative and sometimes strange approach to filmmaking. Uh, I'm sure some of our audience will be like, WTF, but I want to bring a lot of different kinds of voices to the Awesome Directors Project and I'm hoping that seeing your point of view can inspire some people. I'm, I'm excited about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked. 
Next week, we'll watch Oliver's first behind the scenes video. But right now, let's take a look at Dave Seeger's completed music video for the band Flint Eastwood. You can click right here or on the link in the description to get started. It'll also start a playlist that will include these two videos from Oliver Mellon.